Hello and welcome back. And that's right, that's the big news story. Synology photos is fixed, at least as well as I'm concerned. Anyone that's been following this channel for a number of years, particularly since Synology made the move from DSM 6 to DSM 7 into DSM 7.1 and 7.2, there's been one recurring complaint when it comes to Synology photos, and that is that the AI recognition that it includes didn't support object recognition. Now, why is that a big deal? Well, it was because, for those that didn't already know, back when Synology Photos wasn't even around, there was another tool called Synology Moments. And Synology Moments not only had facial recognition, but it had subject recognition. That is right. It was scanning through your decades of photos that you'd uploaded to the system. And not only was it grouping together the photos of all of your friends and family and people you knew, and maybe people you don't, it was also labeling your photos using AI object recognition, trees, um, food, dishes, landmarks. It was utilizing that and also maybe even crossing it over into some of the geolocational information. And all of that recognition could be utilized in filters to make smart albums and more. Yet, for the last few years, since Synology Photos was rolled out, it did not have object recognition. Spent the whole time with this big blank useless folder sat here on the sidelines and you had people, you had places, but you didn't have objects, you didn't have subjects. And now it's back. You do need to update to the latest version and I'm gonna walk you through a couple of little hurdles that some of you might come across. But now not only have we got person recognition like we had before, apologies for the delay, we're gonna blame that on OBS recording here in the background. But now we have that subject recognition. Now, what you're seeing here on screen, it's just a small part of it. We're still in the process of scanning. And there's about three to 4,000 images on this particular NAS. This is one of our test NAS machines. But even straight away, we can look into here. We can go into the clarification for cats. We can come out of that. We can go straight into Christmas, one of my favorite subjects. And we can break into different things. Now, they're not always going to be the most accurate. And much like facial recognition, there's going to be the odd hit and miss. But this was one of those features that was in Synology Moments that I genuinely loved and was absolutely Absolutely gobsmacked that it didn't make the jump into Synology Photos, at least until now. We never really got a satisfactory reason why that was. Um, I will say, uh, apropos of what I'm doing right now, I've contacted Eddie, and Eddie is in the process of scanning a much, much, much larger collection of photos. And at the moment, he's in the middle of scanning 20,000 photos. And, at the, you know, there's a bunch of different subjects here on screen. I'm sure I'm there in the way. Uh, on top of that, he's also started going through some of the details of what he is cataloging there as he goes through it. So, for example, we can see that some of the subjects that are being found are pretty diverse, to be honest. You know, wedding, sky, ocean, ocean beaches, dancing. And these all seem to be working out quite well. Now, again, much like with facial recognition, it's not immediately activated in Synology Photos when you've updated to the latest version, something I'll show you in a moment. You have to head up to the top, click the settings menu, go into the settings menu, and a new little options appeared underneath people in the personal space. You've got enable subject albums. And again, the same goes if you're enabling your shared space area for your connected users, you can go ahead and choose whether you want them to use that recognition as well. But until you select those, it won't be activated. And when you do activate it, it will trigger quite a large scale amount of um, re-indexing on your system. So you will see a drop in performance while you are doing this as the system needs to drop. It isn't enormous and obviously that is gonna be scaled you know, according to the power of your system in the first place. So if you're utilizing, you know, an ARM-based NAS, you're probably going to be seeing things going flat out. But I think another question a number of you might ask before you start looking into upgrading is, can my NAS even support it? Well, I can tell you right now that if you go into, uh, this will be linked in the description, you can find out which NASes actually support the use of face and object recognition. So you, if you are running quite a lower end system and you're worried that you're not going to be able to support it, luckily this link link here in the description will be able to guide you through whether you can activate it and on the subject of activating it's worth mentioning that you're not automatically going to have access to this a lot of users might be wondering do they need to update to the latest version because i know there are some users that have seen synology roll out uh, their deep uh, 7.2 update 2 and worried about certain applications not making the transition or either cease working or not having the same functionality i'm pleased to confirm as you can see here this is update 2 uh, 7.2 
update two and if we go into this nas here we go into the settings you can see that we're not using the latest version of dsm here we're using an older version of dsm we're not using the latest update two version you don't need to update to the new dsm in order to access object recognition in Synology Photos uh, moving forward. Another thing I will say is if you are running a NAS that has got Synology Photos pre-installed and you're thinking, well, cool, this new app's just going to appear on my list of available new updates, I'm sorry to tell you, it won't automatically appear right now. As you can see, this is a NAS that's running installed version 0459. And the version we're running on this system here is... 0489 this is the newer version that's got object recognition and that's going to be very very important because as you can see on this other nas here that doesn't have object recognition enabled that it's not showing an available update for that app so what you're going to need to do and again it will be linked in the description is to head over to the Synology download area and download the latest version I'm going to link directly to this and again you have to go through these parameters here at the top but it will be immediately linked you download that SPK then when you've downloaded that SPK head into your NAS of choice go into manual install click browse from browse find Synology photos and then click open then click next and then it will walk you through the installation process and as you're using a Synology um, certified installer you're not going to need to worry too much about the system warning you about using unverified components there now again if you do update to the latest version of DSM, there's every possibility that this newer version of Synology Photos will appear. And if you do want to update your version of DSM to the latest version, update to, again, I will link below um, how to get to the Synology download area as you can immediately see these new versions appear one by one. And then on top of that, if you are concerned about which one you should go for, because when you click it, a lot of the time, although a lot of model IDs are listed here, not all of them are you can use this other lovely little document here let's find it before i lose it on my list of tabs um, to find out which cpu your synology has and then you can find out the clarification so package architecture for example broadwell so if we copy that there head back into that list of downloads and look up the word broadwell boom there it is but that is if you want to update to the latest version of dsm but ultimately the big takeaway here is finally 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 we have AI subject recognition in Synology Photos. It's only taken, what, two years? And I'm really pleased that it's there. Do let me know what you guys think in the in the comments. Have you started experimenting with this? How much success have you seen? Again, I use test data for these videos. I wouldn't utilize my own photo collection in its extensive two, two and a half decade state here on YouTube, but I might go ahead and do some of this scanning myself just to see how it is and ultimately compare it against QNAP as well with QMaggie just to see how they both fare. Now things have evened out a little bit and I'll of course revisit the subject of the video that I was utilizing before. Oh, there we are. Hello, SpaceRex. How are you? But from there, we're going to find out more and more about Synology Photos and whether this object recognition lives up to what we saw in PhotoStation. But apart from that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.